Attention pour les couleurs. Prêt, sergent. Pour l'assemblée. Gardez-vous. Réponse Ah. For 172 years, they've been a constant in the slow march of French history. Foreigners prepared to fight and die for France. The men of the Foreign Legion. The Legion carefully cultivates an image of glory and honour, of a toughness bordering on brutality, of battles fought against impossible odds in Indochina and North Africa. It's a culture of inevitable death. 35,000 Legionnaires have died for France. These days, the 7,500 strong legion is the first unit France sends into harm's way. Be it peacekeeping or intervening in some distant African war. For surviving veterans, there's often no happy ending on retirement. Some march off to a civilian life of depression, alcoholism and violence. The only reassurance, the Legion's vow to look after its own, to never leave a man behind. In a corner of Provence, some of the world's most dangerous winemakers are hard at work. For this is, officially at least, a French army base, the Invalids Institute of the Foreign Legion. A retirement chateau for 120 Legion veterans trying to earn their keep with dignity, producing medal-winning reds, whites and rosé. En 2000, par exemple, il y a un rosé qui a obtenu une médaille d'or au concours général agricole de Paris, hein, ce qui est vraiment le, le nec plus ultra euh, dans ce domaine. Brought in to help the old timers with the harvest is a group of new recruits, mostly from Eastern Europe and the Balkans. In a time-honored tradition, the Foreign Legion will give them a new identity and eventually a precious French passport young men wanting to escape their past, working alongside veterans with no future, none willing to share their thoughts. At midday, the old soldiers file in for lunch. The mystique of the Legion, stripped bare by men who've stared into the abyss of war for too long. alcohol, divorce or mental illness, forcing many to return to the only family they know. According to Chateau Commandant Gilbert Hensinger, these are men who have been damaged by life. My job, my job, is to make sure that the clochards eh bien, try to become des seigneurs, seigneurs qu'ils ont parfois été dans leur, dans leur passé hein, et les aléas de la vie, les, 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 les problèmes qu'ils ont rencontrés ont fait qu'ils sont, sont, de, sont devenus ce qu'ils sont hein, quand en arrivant ici, c'est-à-dire souvent des clochards, parfois des clochards avec des problèmes parfois liés à l'alcool. Alors... More than a few have been on the wrong side of the law. One former legionnaire was sent here by the courts after he carved up a bar with a chainsaw and took his family hostage. Today, a new resident is welcomed after serving a stretch in prison. Voilà, donc, Monsieur Pascal, qui nous arrive du nord de Boulogne-sur-Mer, et qui depuis ce matin, eh bien, est dans l'équipe du casernement 
comme peintre, puisqu'il a fait ça après la Légion, il a été longtemps peintre. Je vous souhaite la bienvenue, M. Fasquel. Merci. Et au boulot. Merci. Hein The Institute was established in 1953, at the height of France's colonial war in Indochina. The French military was locked in a losing battle against Vietnamese nationalists, with the Legion bearing the brunt of the fighting. Et donc les rues de combat, les durs combats de Chine, eh bien, généraient des, des blessés, hein, beaucoup des blessés, des, des jeunes légionnaires avec des, 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 des bras amputés ou des jambes amputées. Many wounded legionnaires were German, among them veterans of Hitler's armies, with no wish to return to the ruins of post-war Germany. A few also feared investigation over Nazi war crimes. We were able to confirm that two German veterans still living here served as officers in the SS, though no one was willing to identify them. Faut savoir qu'à l'époque, près de 70% voire plus des légionnaires étaient d'origine allemande. Et beaucoup de ces, de ces légionnaires d'origine allemande ne pouvaient pas retourner chez eux pour diverses raisons, vous pouvez aisément comprendre. As a rule, the Legion always protects the men from their past. But there is one old German with an extraordinary history that Commandant Hensinger is prepared to reveal. One of the few veterans here who uses his real name. Alors, deux, deux photos, on voit M. Freitag euh, dans son poste de pilotage de, de Messerschmitt euh, 109. Retired Legionnaire Freitag was once Luftwaffe Major Siegfried Freitag, fighter race and recipient of the prestigious Knight's Cross. Il a été crédité de 104 victoires aériennes hein, et lui-même a été abattu deux fois. Voilà. Donc je ne voudrais pas vous faire de la peine, mais il a descendu beaucoup de pilotes anglo-saxons. Hein. He survived the Second World War, only to discover that all his family and friends had perished. Joining the Legion, he fought in Indochina as a humble infantryman. He's been here at the Institute for 32 years, a lonely distant figure now well into his 80s. But the past he tried to flee still haunts him, remaining both the best and worst of times in Siegfried Freitag's long life. Le plus heureux, moi bon, j'étais quand je suis entré dans l'armée allemande. Et le plus dur, quand j'ai entendu des trucs morts de mes, mes, mes parents et comme ça. Hein, de, de mes gars que je connais. Hein, hein. Not everyone works in the vineyards. Some younger pensioners keep their demons at bay by turning out gift shop souvenirs, perpetuating the legend of the Legion in stark contrast to the lives they've actually led. Tout est fait à la main. Tout est fait de manière artisanale, puisque le but est de faire travailler un maximum les, les légionnaires, les pensionnaires, et non pas de faire une production euh, à grande production. Quoi, hein. Voilà. The ceramic shop supervisor, a Spaniard, worked as a graphic designer before signing up. In contrast to so many of his comrades here, he had a long and happy career in the Legion that ended at France's nuclear test site at Muroa Atoll, boarding and seizing anti-nuclear protest boats. And after I was an officer, and I quit after having commanded two companies, J'ai commandé une compagnie ici en France, en métropole, et une autre compagnie à Tahiti. And when the old legionnaires finally fade away, they join their comrades here, just beyond the vines. Mon travail se termine ici, effectivement, comme vous dites, vis-à-vis -vis du pensionnaire, puisque le pensionnaire qui décède à l'institution, eh bien, on l'enterre ici avec des honneurs militaires.
They're buried under the names given to them by the Legion. The end of lives seeking redemption from a past they'd fled. Parce que peut-être s'il n'avait pas été pensionnaire à l'institution, les alliés de la vie l'auraient fait enterrer de manière beaucoup plus anonyme et peut-être beaucoup plus seul. But even here, the mythology marches on. For according to the Legion, this field of foreigners, so many lost souls in life, have been bestowed a great honour by becoming Frenchmen in death. La Légion n'abandonne jamais les siens, ni au combat, ni dans la vie. Là, vous avez tout. Hey. Oh.